I'm here at Bridger Bowl in front of the Sunnyside lift right behind me that's just set to open in a month and I've seen a lot of excited skiers climbing up and skiing back down the mountain as Bridger Bowl employees are prepping for ski season. I'm most excited to spend some time outside with my friends and hopefully we get some more snow this winter and get to enjoy the mountains. Skiers like Dylan are preparing themselves for the winter season and opening day by hiking up slopes and skiing back down. Get the legs moving, like got to make sure I uh, remember how to ski before the, the winter comes and uh, it's fun, you know, spending some time outside. Around 283,000 skiers visited Bridger Bowl last year, and with a settled snow depth of 22 inches so far, Bridger Bowl's marketing director Aaron O'Connor says the crew is busy prepping the mountain for opening day on December 9th. We've got the snow guns out now, so the mountain ops crew is getting all ready. Um, they've groomed a few of our runs. O'Connor says she loves to see a lot of skiers climbing the mountain before the season starts and wants to make sure everyone is keeping a watchful eye out for the equipment grooming the slopes. We need people to be very aware of avoiding avoiding the snow guns, avoiding snow cats, as well as snowmobiles because we've got people up on the mountain setting up. She sees skiers hike all over the mountain before the season starts. A lot of people just hike to the top of this lift right here, the, the sunny side lift, the quad. Um, some of them hike over towards Pierre's Knob. Bridger Bowl welcomes skiers before opening day, but it can't go on forever. They can come up and uh, hike up uh, until we open. Typically, it's a day or two before we open because, again, we're trying to get the mountain ready. Dylan is excited to start his ski season a little early by going on his favorite run. My favorite run? Probably like the boundary line off of Slushman's is really sick. I really like that. The hike is super fun. The views are great. In Gallatin County, Kristen Merkel, MTN News.